SDC7 here. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me again in Farm Sim 22. Indeed. We are here today to lease some kit. Hopefully, we're, well, we'll have a look at the pricing and go from there. But we need to do some mowing and then we need to do some collecting of the mowing. So, that's what we're looking at. Hope you're having yourselves a great day. It is a uh, Wednesday afternoon here in the beautiful sunshine coast of British Columbia. Now, I get one little issue. I have, uh, you may have noticed this is not our same small tractor. This is a different one. This is a Fent Favorite 515C. I had forgotten. This is one of my favorite. If, it, if it's got to be a small tractor as opposed to medium or large, I really like this particular mod. It, it drives really nicely. It's balanced nicely. And it doesn't have that really short, whiny loop that, for instance, the last tractor we had, when you, you know, if you're going any distance in it, so that it's wound out. This one actually just sounds like it's reached the top of the rev range. So, amongst other things, it's not annoying. And a really good tractor. Our medium-sized tractor doesn't have a front hitch. It has a front weight, I think. Really look at that. That's what it says in the shop. But, yeah, it's okay. So, yeah, they weren't kidding about that. It does, in fact. So, I brought this guy along. Now, of course, it's less horsepower. She's only 150 horse, as opposed to 210, I believe, on the uh, Starbox. But, hey, let's have a look. Mow me now, man. Because, I mean, there's lots of options for mowing stuff, right? I'd like to do a fairly big job, because I bought the, uh, the grass field. So we've got that plus our own sort of fieldy place there that isn't likely going to uh, see much in the way of cropage this year. So coon stuff, this guy 4.4 meters. Um, yeah, 3.1 on the front, 8.3. So we'd be doing a total of 8.3 meters. 120 horse, 60 horse. I think we could handle this combo here. I think. Um, the Pottinger stuff, yeah, that's 10 meters. 160 horse, okay, we're already out of our league. 180 horses out of our league. That's definitely out there. Um, the Vermeer, 6.3 meters. Hmm. It's a, a decent price for that, but again, oh Kubota, what do we got here? Four meters. Ah, it's just too small. Too small. Uh, three point two, two hundred horse. They, eh? dang. The other one we could do it because that's a great price for that size, but not that one. So it looks like we're way down here. 8.3 meters, so that's not bad. Now, one other thing to check, however, is mowers. Okay, for 14.5, the John Deere. Now, um, it's got to go with this, and this is 4.5 meters. So, yeah, I think we will go... <clears throat> with the Kuhn products. Um, 25. So that's almost 35,000 there. Okay. Yeah, we will. Uh, Yeah. And it's Big Brother. Uh, 
Now the question is... Okay, they're not terribly expensive for a bale wrapper, right? Not at all. And then we got these guys. What's so special about them? Oh, do you only do one? No, you do 125s to 150s, and I'm going to be making 150s. Okay. And you're what? Square bales? Oh, square or round. Oh, hybrid. Okay, that makes sense. You're roundies. You're both. And you're roundies. Okay, well, we're going to be making round ones, so 22k for that. That's fine. And then we are going to want the baler. And I believe that uh, the Vermeer pack has a pretty decent little dude. Makes 125 to 185 centimeter bales. Compared to Pottinger's that only does 175. Okay, they do both. It's 57k for that. 56.5, so obviously the Vermeer wins. <laughs> but, one fang at a time. Hello! Look up. Way up. Okay, let's uh, cut the yak axery and. Uh... Oh, yeah. Just sounds good. pretty much as far as you want to push this little tractor, but that's what they're for, isn't it? Give them a push, man. There we go. This is, yeah, I, I just really like this one. So, I know I probably lost a grand or two selling the other tractor off for no particular reason, but I can do it like this. And she's nice and quick. Gets right up to 30 miles an hour, no problem. You see what I mean? The, the sound is just a constant sound like you'd expect to hear out of an engine. As opposed to, you know, whatever that other weirdness was. Because, yeah, I don't like those uh, loopy sort of things. Alright, well, I guess... I think we're pretty much, uh, thank you. Um, if I get her rightly, I do believe we pretty much own all of this area. Because we owned all of this and then I bought 42. So yeah, we can actually start right down at the, yeah. How does that look down there? I guess, eh? Alright, let's do that. I'm gonna go all the way down. We're gonna clear as much as we can on both sides. It's probably gonna be worth knocking some of these out of our way as well. And that. I love that we can actually take those rocks out. Oh man. What a cool addition. Thank you, Farmson. I'm, I don't know. A lot of people, I, I, I can't, you know, are being absolute Karens about, Oh, it's a farming game, and oh, you gave us a forestry map. And, well, you know, there are some fields to start with. And I think you're missing a lot of farm sim if you don't, uh, you know, at least try a homestead style map. You know, if you really hate the logging, you know, load up one of those mods that eats trees. It, 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 
doesn't even give you wood chips. It just makes them disappear, you know, and run around for 10 minutes and make a feel. No, it's a farming game. But like I said, my personal opinion, man, I love this. I think this is the best map that Giants has released. Quite seriously. Oop. Period. Well, like I said, I've been playing this since FS09. I mean, there's been really good modded maps. I'm not saying this is the best map ever made. I'm saying this is the best map Giants has ever made. And whatever you may think of them, they should know a little bit about something about it, right? Alright, so I think... Winkleberry's Elite. We are going to start like way back here. Let's, oh, that's cool. A little bit of uh, mechanism stuff going on there. I like that. Very cool. Hmm. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's not quite be in the swamp. So maybe we'll just start on the actual, uh, straight section here. Let's say from this point forward. Alright. Alright. Down, oh, no, 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 sorry, down you go, okay, and don't want to turn you on yet, because I want to back the front mower up to the starting point, there we go, now let's unfold our fronty, and the other one, very good, down you go, now you, we will actually light on, Okay. Now we're going to lay up the rears. Okay. And, uh, like the old song goes, Mow, mow, mow your lawn gently by the stream. Or whatever the heck. I, I never was much on the popular music. How are we doing here? <laughs> oh. Hello. Well, you're not grass, are you? Not at all. Huh. Well, 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 well. Well, that's okay. It just means I don't have to actually do the coming back piece. Because the deal is, we're going to have grass here, one way or the other, so... Oh, I don't think that's something I can take down with my tractor. Well, let's not get in the way of those things. You are not allowed to cut this tree. What? Oh, I beg to differ. I am certainly allowed to cut that tree. Why am I not allowed to cut that tree, man? Explain this to me. Because it's too close to the river? Is that your dealio? No, I'm not allowed to cut these trees. This is my land. I'm not mowing somebody else's stuff, am I? Where am I? Right there. No, I don't want to be interested. Oh, I don't. I don't. Look closely. I do not. Huh? Good for them. Good for them. That's the way it's supposed to be. You are supposed to leave a certain amount of uh, that sort of thing along the edges of the embankment so that you don't have an effect on the animals and other stuffage that lives there. So. I'm going to. Comply with that. Okay. 
Okay. Now. There shouldn't be any issues with these. Unless, of course, oh man. There it is. All right. Anybody else want to play? Uh, these are okay. These are actual tree trees. Uh, I think we're, we're okay. I want it close. Oh, don't do that at home, kids. Dang, man, I forgot that like, rock was there. All right. Getting greedy. Okay. Hey, we're leaving grass. Look. Oh, oh, oh. Um. Boy, you just don't swath it all, man. Fold more, turn on crop sensor. Look at silly bugger. And it's on the rear one. There doesn't seem to be a, a swathy thing. So let's go back here. Well, I know I own it. Can I do anything with it? No? Alright, well. Then we know we have something else on the agenda that we're going to need. Yeah, I could hear the difference when it actually started cutting grass, you know? Right on, well, at least we're gonna get something off this field. It's not like I'm hitting those by much. into an actual grass grass. It is real grass, unlike the rest of the plants. Give these guys an opportunity to get by. Oops, wrong one. <clears throat> there we go, down you go. You gonna clear that pole or are you just gonna... No, not even quite, so... Okay.
I gotta do this one over there. I can't judge where the end of that is. Mainly because I can't see the thing I'm trying to aim for and that at the same time, you know? Yeah, there's not really enough on the outside. Let me just get away from the ones on the sides. Just do the insides. And then we'll come back out. There we go. Much easier. And then, like I said, I did buy the actual grass grass. <clears throat> okay, we're back on to land of nothings. So. because I can, and I'm kind of headed in that direction anyway. But we can put something in here. Maybe with all this grass work, we'll get sheep or something. I know, dairy sheep. Because that went well. Well, I'm still anxious to see, man. Yeah. You hear the change in sound, eh? I mean, I don't know how much grass is here, to be honest with you. It looks pretty freaking barren. But let's see. It's actually amazing how quiet it is here, you know, for an apartment building. It's not, uh, you know, not like some I've lived in, that's for darn sure. We, uh, my ex-wife and I moved to Chilliwack. We moved into an apartment there, right by the, the post office downtown. Oh my god, it was loud. I mean, outside was loud. There was so much, like, uh, that place just, I don't know. It seems an awful lot of people have things to do 24 hours a day. Um, but the building, you know? You could hear pretty much every other apartment. TVs, music, people doing things. Just constant. Here, most of the time, it's pretty darn quiet, man. You know, I can hear vehicles pull into the front driveway on the other end of the building and stuff. It's just, yeah. It's 
say when somebody does drop something that makes a bang, you don't quite notice it because, you know, at least this part. I know the, the people in the other part of the apartment walk the other building. I've heard complaints. Now, granted, I live on the top floor. And, uh, life for people on the top floor, but it's only a two-story building, so it's not like I'm you know, ooh, I'm way up there in the penthouse, man. Um, <laughs> but no, uh, people on the top floor, of course, have a big advantage over people on the bottom floor. Well, two advantages, really. One, they get some free heat in the winter. Heat rises, man. So my floors are basically heated because my downstairs neighbor turns his heat on in the winter. So, bonus. And the other, of course, is I have a downstairs neighbor, not an upstairs neighbor, who is constantly walking just over my head. So I do try and be fairly quiet when I stomp around my house. But, uh, yeah. that was built uh, a long time ago. It's, uh, it's old enough. This is a uh, reasonably big area. So we will need a bin drawer. Well, I suppose what I should actually check is if I actually have a different way to make silage besides wrapping bales. Because maybe I won't need a bale, maybe I just get a forage wagon with a, a drying silo, right? So we'll have to have a look at that. But I don't think we'll... Oops! Yeah, that's got to be hard on the mower blades. I'm just saying, you know... Like oopsie and all, but eek. I think it would be a cheaper route, depending on the price of the sun. Let's have a look. Boop. Construzione. Zylos. I don't think I've loaded anything that will actually do it, to be honest with you. Um, you're just a silo, aren't you? Yep. Oh, what do we got here? Nope, you're just a silo. Yeah, I don't think I've actually got one loaded that will do that. I know there's lots of them. Um, oh, wait a minute, maybe it's under production. Uh, I'm thinking probably not. What's this? Paper factory. Oh, yeah. And that's it. So... Yeah, shy of these things. There's not much that's going to do anything with my goodies here. So I'll look into that. Um, see what's available. Sort of a hub to mod. Because that might be a little bit easier way of getting it done. I mean, at this point, we don't need the silage, and I don't know that I'm going to go cows. But silage out of anything you can do with grass, I'm pretty sure is worth the most money. Now a baler and a bale stacker, whatever you want to call them. Oh, a baler, a bale wrapper, and a bale stacker. 
is I think going to cost him about 120k, I believe. Let's have a look, shall we? Ba -ba -dum -ba -bum. So the Baylor, 48k for that guy, but he's not going to do it. So 57 or 56. So let's say 57k for a Baylor. Yeah, the bale loader is another 50k. Well, uh, that plus the other 500 is another grand, so yeah, more like a 104k now. And then we're also going to, well, need the wrapper. Which is 22,000. So 125k. And then. Okay, that, that basically will do it. 125k. Alright, forage wagon. We can go. Yeah, we probably want more than that. So let's go 46k. And then whatever the uh, silo is worth. So we'll have to see. Like I said, I'll have a look on the mod hub. And if there is a, a decent one there. I know we had one on the last farm. Worked perfectly fine. Can't imagine it was super expensive because, well, I bought the dang thing and put it in. Of course, we had a fair bit of money when we started that map. Like Four million. And we started this map with a hundred K. And I borrowed money, so... Alright, that, as they say... Hmm. Yep. So here is our other little bit of property.
tricky, huh? Ooh. This was 50k for this field. That one across the way is over 100,000. Not granted somebody ran a plow over it. That must be worth seeing if there's any missions available for those. No point scraping too close to the fence. We still gonna get a windrower through here. There we go. We got part of that bit mode that we still there. sure how quick grass grows on these maps. I mean, uh, in seasons compared, like a seasons ready map as opposed to the old normal ones. Because, I mean, heck, you could mow grass like every couple of days on the old ones. But we'll see, too, what the actual yield is. Because I may still have to go through here and go plow, 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 and then decide, you know, is that how we want to make money, or can we even make or should we turn them into field fields? And this will be enough of a headland on this end, and we can just grab that straight edge over there and start going back and forth. mowing this and next time around we'll, uh, we'll know whether I'm forage wagoning it or well we like I said either way we're gonna have to windrow it because it's uh, well certainly not suitable for either forage wagon or baler at this point that's okay so yeah until then do take care of each other don't forget to hit that like button don't forget to look down in the description for uh, links to sooties and old mans and other such channels that are well worth checking out. But above all, take care of each other, folks. And <laughs> ciao for now.